Hey there, welcome back to Analytical Guy. Today we are diving into the world of data transformation and analysis with Power Query. Whether you are a data enthusiast or a business analyst or someone who wants to harness the power of their data, then this is the right place for you. Power Query is an incredible tool that can clean your data, transform your data, or even merge your data from various different sources effortlessly. So in this video, I'll walk you through five important tasks that can be done in Power Query. Right? It will supercharge your data workflows and you will be in awe that how it can automate the task so effortlessly. Right? So, But before we jump in into this nitty gritty, if you are new to this channel, I would really request you to subscribe and ring the bell icon so that you never miss the tutorial or tips that I provide to business analysts and the beginners or even intermediate who wants to grow in their data science and analytics field. Right? So let's get started. Let's start with our first task in Power Query that is using concatenation using summarization. As you can see, this is my sales data. Here you can see order ID, order date is there, ship date, ship mode, customer ID, customer name. Then we have segment, which country it is for, city, state, postal code, region. Then we have product ID, category, subcategory, the product names, and finally the sales for those products for the mentioned information right so we have the sales data my question is if i can summarize this data on the basis of order date country region category and then we need sales as well as product list for example for the date 11th of august 2017 in the country united states region south category furniture what is my sales and what are the products for that particular date Right? So it can be product A, B, C, D, it can be one product, it can be five products, it can be 10, 20 products. Right? So I just want that list over here. So that can be easily be done using Power Query. So what I'll do is I'll just go to data, click on get data, that is Power Query, go to my CSV file, this is my train file, and then I'll click next, and then everything looks fine, click on transform data. So if you have followed my previous videos, you will find this pretty much easy or straightforward. This is my Power Query interface. Now, what I want is I want to group this raw data on the basis of order date, then my country, and then region, and finally, I need category, right? So what I'll do is in transform, there is a group by option. I'll do group by and instead of basic, I'll click advanced, then group by order date, add grouping. Then after order date, I want country. After country, I want region. Then I want category, right? Now the new column name, it can be total sales, let's say, and this should be the sum of all the sales column, right? If I click OK, it will create a new column by the name of total sales and it has been summarized on the base of order date, country, region, category. And then you can change the data type. Uh, this is my date. So he from here, you can change the date as a data type and so and so forth. But that is out of scope right now. So let's skip that. Now I have total sales. As required, I need one more column here in the right hand side that will list out all the product names for those particular records, right? So what can I do for that? So for that, let's go to our existing formula. So this is the formula that has been used. You can see here pretty much straightforward table.group. It has done grouping on order date, country, region, category, right? And then it has provided me total sales. And this has been done on all the sales column. It has done the sum function and it has provided me the list. So what I'll do is, I'll just take this ahead and let's do some calculations. Over here, as you can see, This is my new additional column, you can say. I want to create new column. So I'll just create comma and then press enter. 
you can do shift plus enter to enter into the new line now i need to create a new column new column name can be let's say product list right now i want the list but you can see if i use each command it will give me the list of all the records so let's try doing each underscore first if i press enter it will give me a table so you can see if i use each underscore underscore give me the table so if i click on the table you can see it is giving me the table for this particular order date right so order date you can see it is same as this one 8 11 2017 then uh, my customer name is fine then country is united states then region should be south and category should be furniture as it was there right now i want these product names product name as bush somerset collection bookcase honorable deluxe fabric uphold whatever it is so i just want all these product names listed in this particular column right so what i can do is instead of underscore let's try to add this particular column name that is product name just be careful with the case sensitivity p is capital n is capital in this column so i'll just keep that way and press enter now you can see the difference in previously it was my table now it is a list so if i click here you can see it is showing me the list of all those products right now you can see here the products can be multiple it can be one it can be five it can be 20 whatever right but uh, right now you are not able to see but these list product list can be multiple uh, and duplicates right so for example this storex duratech it can occur twice in this particular list but i don't want particular product to you know come again and again in the same record because i just want the product lists i don't want it to occur multiple times so instead of that i can use distinct function in mquery so that is list dot distinct once i use this it will only give you the distinct values and press enter so now we are one step away from our final step now we have the list with the distinct values so now we have to convert this list into the cell for that i just need to combine all these elements into text so i'll use text dot combine on this and press enter now you can see all the products are there but there is one catch over here so you can't differentiate the colors uh, the products because one product is superseded by another product without any gap or something so you're not able to understand that so for that i need to use a delimiter so after this bracket closure i will use a delimiter of let's say comma then each product should be divided by the comma you can see here after bookcase there is a comma after chase there is a comma similarly after universal there is a comma so all these are products differentiated or delimited by the comma instead of comma i can use enter so that it can come in the different line of the same cell so if i use shift plus enter and press enter you can see in the first record i have two products so it is showing me in two rows in the second one it is showing in three but this is my one row in the single cell it is showing me thrice there are three products right so this is how you can have a product list for each summarization so i can have order date country region then category total sales and finally the product list so if i go back if i close and load you can see here for each record the required record i have the product list this is so beautiful so if you want to you know filter out for particular instance and see how many products are there and what are the products in that particular combination then you can easily use this concept this is widely used 
uh, there are so many use cases of this in different different plethora and you can use in various domains as well all right so this was it about this particular task let's go ahead with the second task so let's start with our task number two that is using the records effectively in this we will try to add multiple columns in one go the first way is to add the columns individually so for that you click on add columns and then click on custom columns and then you add one column that is straightforward or you can just go to conditional column and then whatever condition you want to apply and then click ok and your column will be added but what if you want to add multiple columns let's say 10 or 15 columns you don't want to add one column at a time and do this for 10 times or 15 or 20 times what I'm saying is if you want to add multiple columns but you can do that with one query that will be wonderful that will reduce your time tremendously this is what we are going to do in this particular task so for that what you have to do is you have to go to add column click custom column now all you have to do is put the square brackets press enter and now here you want to add as many columns you can add let's say column 1 is equal to let's say the sales plus 100 right comma now you want to add another column that is column 2 that is equal to sales minus 100 comma you want to add one more column let's say column 3 is equal to sales plus 200 and finally column 4 is equal to sales minus 200 so you have added four columns with just one query right so let's say this is my custom click ok and here in record you can see there are four columns column 1 2 3 and 4 so initially the sales is 261 column 1 is 361 that is 261 plus 100 that is 361 this is minus 100 this is plus 200 this is minus 200 of the sales right so I will expand this click OK now my four columns have been added so this is the beauty of using custom column and just going with the square brackets and adding multiple columns here column 1 column 2 and do you have to separate this by comma so that the mquery understands that this is a separate column right so this is how you can create multiple columns using one query all right guys so let's get start with the third task that is transpose so if in case you want to transpose your data then how will you do that in power query so first of all what is transpose of a data for that let's go back to an example so you can see in the first table that is the region and then there is a quarter wise sales so you can see in the columns you have the values for the quarters and in the bottom table you have values uh, in a column for each region right so you can see the green capture for 2020 quarter 2 that column in the top and the second row 2020 quarter 2 that is highlighted in the green these are same right so if you see the values 897 897 then 8374 8374 907 907 3, 8316 8316 so this is a transpose transpose means your row becomes column and your column becomes rows right so this is the transpose you must have worked uh, on transpose in mathematics when you were working on matrix as well right so going back to our power query now this is my table with date state category and sales I want to transpose so first option is if I go to transform and click on transpose here you can see transpose this table treating rows as columns and columns as rows so if I click here this will give me a transposed table right so this is what we wanted but I wanted to use the M query to transform the data instead of using the the user interface itself right so now we are back to our raw data now how we can transform this table into a transposed table right now going into a function if I click on FX that is inserting the step now this is my last step 
सो ऑन माई लास्ट स्टेप आई वॉन्ट टू मेक सम मॉडिफिकेशन राइट सो वॉट विल दैट मॉडिफिकेशन बी सो आई वॉन्ट टू चेंज दीज रिकॉर्ड्स इन टू अ लिस्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सो वॉट आई डू इज इफ आई मेक टेबल डॉट टू रोज of this particular source and press enter that table has been converted into list every record is a list now that list is date then region category and sales right if you go for each and every list i have that particular record if i go back this is my first record date western australia electronic devices 1796 so this is converted into list number 1 then this is list 2 list 3 list 4 list 5 so and so forth total 14 lists right so there are 14 lists now now each and every row you can say has a list what i have to do is i just want to make it a column so what i'll do is this particular step i want to make it into columns so what i'll do is table dot from columns and then this particular last step in brackets and press enter now you can see the table has been transformed right so we have used table dot two rows and then we have used table dot from columns to transform so whenever you use this table dot from columns and table dot two rows simultaneously like this the table will be transformed you don't have to use the particular transpose here for that right so basically whenever you work on the projects you will be using transpose from here but this is important to understand what is the significance of table dot two rows what is the significance table from columns it is really important to work on mquery to understand the power query interface right and please understand whenever you use table dot from columns f and c here are in capital letters so you have to understand the case sensitivity of all these words right so this is pretty much easy once you understand and uh, if you practice a lot about power query then uh, you will be able to understand all the from column two rows all these concepts there are so many functions in mquery but then there are let's say 20 or 25 functions which are really important and if you learn those 20 25 functions you are really sorted in mquery you don't have to learn each and every function otherwise uh, there are thousands of function and no one knows and no one need to know all these functions right so in my upcoming videos i'll be explaining you those top 20 25 functions as well so stay tuned a uh, power query is really important just try to understand these functionalities in this all right so now let's try to understand task number 4 in task number 4 we will try to understand the data report coming from the student system so this is the table that i have received i have student id i have unit codes unit marks and results so student id will be 101 so for 101 there are three unit codes so this particular student he is studying for three units 1401 4405 5504 and this is the marks that he has got for 1401 it is 87 for 4405 it is 91 for 5504 it is 39 similarly uh, for each and every unit mark he will be passed or failed so result is pass or fail so for 39 he is failed as you can see here so this is how the table is and this is my desired table so for each unit i need to have a sim simple record it should not be in one record itself i am getting three records right so this is how it should look like because if you want to do data visualization or any kind of analysis so this is how the table should look like in this kind of clutter table you won't be able to do any kind of analysis so this is my raw data and this is where the power query comes in so if you input this kind of data in power query and use some steps to automate this kind of table can be the output and this is what we want right so let's go directly to power query so for that i'll go to data and click on get data from excel workbook browse and this is my table click next and i'll select the raw data this is the data i want to transform click transform data and 
expand this. So I have four columns, student ID, unit codes, unit marks and result. First of all, I need to unpivot all the columns except student ID. So I'll right click on student ID column, click on unpivot other columns, right? Now I have student ID, attributes and values. So in case you have not watched my previous videos on Power Query, I would highly suggest that watch them before going ahead because some concepts I am taking from my previous video, right? Now I have student ID, attributes and value. Now right click on values. Now you need to split the column. You can see there are values 1401, 4405550504. All these are separated by space. Each and every column you can see. All values are separated by space. So what I'll do is right click here, split column on the basis of delimiters. Delimiter is my space. So I'll go to advanced, separator is space, split at each occurrence of the delimiter that is correct and split into rows. Click OK. Right, so now you can see everything has been split into the rows. Now if I click on attribute and go to transform and pivot the column, go to advanced on the basis of value and don't aggregate. If I click OK, it won't work right now. I'll explain you how. So you can see the errors are showing here, right? So I won't be able to do it. So I'll just cancel this step, what I did. So in case in uh, you want to pivot the column to get the values, but before that you need to group the columns, right? So for that, I'll go to student ID and attribute, select both the columns, right click, and you can go to group by. So another option is go to the top ribbon and click on group by. Otherwise here on advanced student ID attributes, new column name can be, let's say data, and operation should be all rows and click OK. Right now for student ID and attribute, you will have a table. If you select here, you will see here the table is for 101 unit code. I can see the unit code. If I go below unit marks and all the marks are there. So this is the table that I am getting right now. Now I need to create a new column on the basis of this data column that I have prepared. So what I'll do is I'll click on add column, click custom column. Uh, let's keep it custom column name. Now I will use mQuery that is table dot add columns. So I am adding a column right now, index column. So for that, I need to add index column, right? So once I'm adding index column, this is on the base of data. So I'll just double click on data. It will come in comma. Let's name the column as index comma one and that's it and click OK. Now you will see here this table, it will have one more column as index one, two, three. So this is what we want because initially if you see this table, you have all the values if you go down, but you won't be able to refer because for example, in this table, this unit code 1401440555504 for student ID 101, it is also referred to this one, right? 87 is for this code 1401 how the power query will understand that i have created the index now index will show me so 1401 index is one if i go down for 87 value index is still one so it will concatenate all the indexes with one it will be bind together for index two it will bind together so this is how we will get the values right now we don't need any other column i have everything in this column custom column so what I'll do is I'll right click here remove other columns right now I can expand this so I have student ID attribute value and index click OK perfect so far so good right now one more step last step is there I need to pivot the data remember I tried to pivot the table uh, pivot the attribute column initially then it showed me error now is the right time now I can pivot the table. I will click on attribute, click on transform. I'll pivot the column here. Click on advanced. The value column here, you can see here is value. So I'll select value. It should not be aggregated. So don't aggregate, click okay. Perfect. Now you can see student ID 101, index one, code 1401, unit marks 87, result is pass. Similarly for 4405, 91 pass, 5504 unit code, unit marks 39 result fail 
so everything is perfect i just don't need index column anymore right click remove columns now everything is there student id unit codes unit marks results and this is all automated if you have multiple student ids coming together it will all append here so right now i have just three unit student ids 101 102 103 later on if i fetch the report for hundreds of students for multiple timelines you will be able to fetch everything without doing again and again so you have applied these steps you can see at the right side this is the one time effort so you have applied this again whenever the new data comes in it will automatically update and everything is perfect here we will try to consolidate all the excel sheets in one sheet so if we have four sheets or ten sheets or n number of sheets how we can consolidate that and uh, whenever the new records are coming in all those sheets it should automatically consolidate so how we can do that so the first approach which i feel is one of the best approach is using power query so here you can see sheet number one sheet number two sheet number three four so i just have four sheets right now to demonstrate this and for this we should have the same column names and the number of columns date state category and sales so if you see in all the four sheets we have the same four columns but it will have the different number of records or different records and all together right so what i'll do is i'll go to data i'll click on power query so now i can take a blank query and uh, go to my workbook so what i'll type in excel dot workbook and in bracket now i will try to extract the file con content so for that i'll use file dot contents and in bracket i'll use the location of this file so this file pq underscore ex1 this file is in my downloads so what i'll use is in double quotes slash users slash apikant chan then downloads in downloads i have this file pq underscore e caps x one dot xlsx right so this is done if i press next if you see in power query you can see there are total number of four plus one five sheets here it is very interesting to see we have the kind this will give me if this is a sheet or not and then there is a hidden column which will show me if it is hidden or not so false or true if it is false that means it is not hidden right so this will also give me the idea if you have hidden files and you don't want them to be used in your uh, consolidation then you can uh, remove the trues right otherwise you can include them as well so in my example i just want to use or consolidate those sheets which are not hidden which are visible to your eye right so what i'll do is i'll go here or logical filters right it should be equal to false right click okay now it will only give me hidden equal to false same with kind i want uh, it to be sheet so it should be equal to s capital h e e t sheet press ok so i have created two filters here so uh, in my all the sheets the kind should be sheet and hidden should be false otherwise you can uh, remove the filter if you want to keep all the files even if it is hidden right secondly if you see these tables in sheet number one if i click here you will see a table down below you will see date state category and sales as we saw in the excel right similarly for sheet number two similarly for sheet number three sheet number four and consolidate data this will be blank right so far so good so now one challenge i can see here is all the headers which which are not in their right spot so it should be uh, on the top it is showing me in the first row instead of the headers right similarly for all these tables so what i have to do is i have to create a new column here 
and tell me tell that this table should give me the promoter of headers so if i go to add columns and custom columns i just need to use one mquery formula to promote the headers for these tables so what i'll do is i use table dot promote headers and then promote headers on this column data column so i'll double click here and then press okay right now this new column if i click here on the table you'll see these columns there the headers are promoted right similarly for this table and this table and this table so this is looking perfect now now i just want this column and this item column because item column will show me which sheet number it is right right click and remove other columns i don't want other columns to be used now right so this is it and in final way i don't want consolidate data to be coming in so i'll just remove this and press okay so whatever data it is there for example right now i have four sheets even if you have hundreds of sheets you don't have to do it manually for each and every sheet this will be done automatically for every sheet now you just need to expand this click on okay this is how my data is now so for all the sheets if you click here it will show me sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 sheet 4 uh, for all the sheets i'll have date date state category and sales now you just need to go to home and close and load so now there is a new sheet by the name of query here you can see if my date is there state is there category is there sales is there item is there so whatever changes you make in those sheets it will automatically come here so this is how you can use power query to automate so now here you can see i have sheet 1 2 3 and 4 right we had worked on five essential power query tasks that can change the way you work with your data in excel or power bi so we have covered everything from data cleaning transformation to merging queries and handling errors by mastering these techniques you will save time you will reduce your errors and you can unlock new insights from your data so you can say power query is really powerful so if you are in a journey of becoming a data analyst business analyst or even data scientist power query can be helpful If you found this video helpful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your colleagues or friends who could benefit from mastering power query also please let me know in the comments below which was the best task you found out of the five so that we can go ahead with the making such videos in the future also please do subscribe if you have not subscribed to analytical guy i will make the videos on power query power bi and how to become a data scientist so i can cover python to machine learning as well Thanks a lot for watching this video. Thanks a lot. Bye.